How to Focus is brought to you by Garage Build. Submit your build, share your passion. Powered by Dennis Kirk. My name's Ryan Olson. I'm from, well, originally Wyoming, but now residing in New Braunfels, Texas. Today I brought my uh, 76 shovel head chopper. I've uh, been working on it for the last about year. Came out here, saw the choppers at the chopper show and decided I want to build one. This is my first build. I did come up around motorcycles. Um, my dad's had motorcycles ever since I was two, three years old. Um, spent a lot of nights working with him in the garage and the shop turning wrenches on them just kind of been been a way of life since i grew up uh, i have a garage space that's starting to come along but uh this one particularly him and i built in his shop in new Braunfels. man he had uh, quite a few bikes growing up what i really was attracted to was he had a soft tail that he had uh chopped up and done some pretty cool modifications too. Over the last eight years, really got into vintage motorcycles, um, the flatheads, uh, shovel heads, pan heads. And uh, him and my mom got me a, a 1942 flathead for Christmas a few years back. So that's the next one on the list to tear apart. Everything you see here, I found, picked out, um, found the frame along with the front end in Seguin in a shop that was flooded a few years back in the flood. Um, picked that up, picked which frame I wanted, and then uh, got the motor from a local guy in San Antonio, already redone, so he had done all the engine work. This being my first build and kind of the reactions I've been getting this week, and I'm, I'm pretty thrilled to be honest with you. One of the cool things that I think is super cool is as far as the foot pegs, a lot of the framework, a lot of what you see, it didn't start out like that. My dad and I actually cut it apart and welded a lot of stuff in there and made it, made it better, made it stronger. So the bearings actually was just kind of a last minute idea that my dad actually threw out there. He's like, you know, you're going to want something to keep your foot on there. And he said, check these out, pull them out of the toolbox. So let's weld these on there, see how they look. Well, them on there and they look killer and sent them off to chrome and a few parts i did order online fender tank and uh the sissy bar um we had to do a little bit of tweaking a little bit of modification but for the most part that's that's how it came a few ideas i got from instagram it's magazines you know but a lot of it i was just kind of let's see how it looks and go from there some small little bugs when i first fired it up I had to do some rewiring um, and then swap the jets and the carb but other than that it's been great guy out of Canyon Lake Texas uh, Jerry Latch is his name he owns Latch Custom Cycles he did the paint um, dropped it off with him we went around a couple different ideas and originally I wasn't going to do the candy blue and the Z's he had shot me some pictures of a previous bike he had done with some orange and then with some red. And I said, you know what? Absolutely. Let, let's do it. I'm Ryan Olson. I'm from New Braunfels, Texas, and you're watching Shop Talk.